Many thanks, Nigerians, and welcome to the conversation. We're assessing the Buhari government's performance and now spotlight on transportation. You heard some of the things that the Minister of Transport uh, said. If you hear some of the things he said majorly on the issues of rail, we had some other conversation as to road transportation and water uh, maritime issues. But let my guests uh, do the talking this time and I have a panel with me, Mr. Karadi Okwefa and Mr. Okulibo. Many thanks so, for coming on the program. Let me begin with you, Mr. Okwefa. You were a former commissioner in Lagos and we know the status Lagos has. Uh, for what we have seen in the past years, our roads hardly work. Uh, the waterways will, that we should be using very much are not uh, probably safe. The roads are with uh, they are ter in terrible shape. But in the last two years or so, what do you make of the plan? Do you think, does it look like the government of the day has a plan? Uh, thank you very much. Let me start by saying in the transportation sector, two years is sometimes not enough for, for you to see the impact. But by and large, two years is also enough for you to set your plans. And it is that to which I will speak to and to some specific uh, achievements and the impacts. Now, if you don't understand what transportation is, you may not be able to assess the government properly. So let me say, it, it is not just moving people from one point to the other. That is the end result. It is actually the process involved in the flow of moving people, goods, factors of production from one point to the other. So it is the management of that flow. Now when you look at that, you are talking of the management of the people, management of the machines, the equipment, management of resources, money. So what you now need to also go further. Transportation goes beyond road, rail, air, water. You also have the pipelines. You have the telecommunications. So those are the things that will now form what you call the, 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 the intermodality. Until you bring all this into concept, you may not be able to figure. Now, then I will now take you to the fact that for you to actually assess, you need structures. You need legislations, the legal framework. Then you need the processes. Now, those are the things this government had actually addressed. I have addressed it? Yes. I will, I, will, I, will, I will remind you. I told you that there are things that goes on in the back room that you may not see. Number one, I am proud to now throughout the Jonathan regime, there were a lot of issues on the issue of transport policy, the Nigerian Railway Act 1955, it was placed before the National Assembly. You have the Inland Waterway Review, you have the National Transport Commission that was supposed to come up and take over the way transition is managed. Now, just two weeks ago, the National Assembly set up a consulting team led by Sam Ahmadi, to go and harmonize and figure that. Now, what you will see is that that is the legislation part. Now, when you talk of the structures, if you look at transportation goes beyond Ministry of Transport, you also have to bring in the Ministry of Works. So what transport does is to link people to jobs, through roads, through rail, through air, is to take goods from the farm to the market, is to support tourism. Transportation will also improve standard of living. Some transition will support the sustainable development goals. But, but, so when you don't, if you don't look it that way, you will know. So let me go to specifics, what the government has done. The legal framework is almost in place. Almost. Almost in place. The, the National Assembly is now fast-tracked it. Two, you just mentioned, the financing aspect, which you talk more about the processes, has gone a lot of way. Now when you now come to the one that we have done much on, which is easiest to manage, is the road. There is hardly any state of the 36 plus 1 Abuja that does not have one road project or the other. Right. Linking it, that state Mr. Okwefa, to another state. My, my, my underlining the, uh, factor here that we start of a bedrock to conversation here tonight on the issue of transportation is do we have, does it look like this government has a plan for how it wants its transportation to be handled or oh, oh. its outlook of its transportation? That's what I told you. If you look at the APC manifesto, the general overlook talks about the maintenance of road, interconnectivity of road, development of the rail system, 4,300, and to do one third of that within the first four years. If you go to um, um, air transport, they talk about remodeling the air transport system. You've seen what is going on at the Abuja terminal. You've heard what the minister 
for aviation talked about concessioning. Now, when you go to roads, you've seen the Minister of Road Transport going around the whole country. I doubt if he has not traveled around the whole country. Uh, what's his name? Ad uh, Adeshino just mentioned the president to be eyes on, what did he say? Is it eyes on? Hands on. No. Eyes on, hands on. Fashion is <laughs> eyes on, hands on. Both. Okay. So, so what, what I'm trying to say is that in the road sector, I, I think that is okay. not in context. Uh, let, let me quickly, you talked about your manifesto, and that's what we're going to yeah. be uh, talking basically because you're, the promise of the party is what the party, uh, uh, the Nigerians are holding up. If you look at what the party said specifically uh, in terms of uh, transportation, they said uh, they, they will, the party says uh, they will create new job opportunities through a massive public works program, especially the building of a national railway system of interstate roads and ports. This project must commence early in the life of the new administration, early in the new life of Mr. Okolibo. Uh, of course, you are from the, the opposition, PDP. Yeah. If you look at it, the same question I posed to Mr. Opefa, mm. uh, does this government look organized enough in its plan and the way it is set out? But, but certainly, looking at the interview of uh, the Minister of uh, Transport, it will tell you that certainly there is a whole lot of bottlenecks that he needs to address. Uh, my good friend here, Karadi, is trying to play a lot of politics because he is a professional who did work quite well when he was in Lagos State. Why do I say this? First, the 1955 Act that got the National, Report, uh, the National Railway Commission has not, they haven't even submitted an executive bill to the National Assembly. That Act is still in force. I'm not blaming it on, the, on, the, on, on this government, but it was a key policy of their campaign manifesto and even the vice president, who is the acting president, said it at the turning of the sword that the 1955 Act is still in place, which does not allow for private public participation in the railway. Why do I take the railway sector? The railway sector happens to be where uh, the Minister of Transport has built a larger than that life picture. In 19, from 1955 to 1975, the railway sector was employing 45,000 people. And as of 2005, when it has gone back bankrupt, it was having only four departures, only two to Kanu, one to Port Harcourt, and one to Joss. And as at that material point in time, the railway was employing less than 6,000 people. From 1993 up till when the first contract was given to the China Civil Aviation Engineering Company, no new wagon had been bought. I heard the Minister of Transportation saying that he bought wagon and coaches. That's a very big lie. Sorry to say. For the cat, uh, Abuja to he didn't now, buy any coach. Abuja. Everything was bought in the life of the former administration. I'm not here to try to defend my party, but I'm here to say facts. First and foremost, what he accepts is so that what he, it's, if, he, he if, did the signal. If the Jonathan he government, did the signal. Just a moment. Do if you the understand? Jonathan Bog yes. government bought the, the coaches. He bought the coaches, did, yes. Did the project. I stand to be corrected. So why, why didn't the... the the work. If you if you Why notice, the, if you notice Ido Ido, which is the which which, which is the, the terminal, time. was in, was one of the last uh, uh, visits that Jonathan did when when he was leaving government, and everybody saw the pictures. I'm not I'm not. Let's not digress. Let's not bring politics into it because the minister seems to always uh, blow his trumpets very loud in this sector. Seven point five billion dollars is the loan he's looking for. As we speak, there is no request to the National Assembly. Asking for that loan. He says he has been given 72 billion seven months ago. And that in two years' time, he believes that the Lagos Ibadan, when we're talking about Lagos Ibadan, don't forget that Lagos Ibadan was from 1898 to 1901, the first railway track we had, which is 193 kilometers. I, I know I have a guru here, so he, he knows all about this. And that was what the colonial masters had. And that is the Lagos Ibadan track that is coming from their papa port. It's a very laudable laudable project because when you bring it from the papa port all those containers and all those uh, uh, equipments that come from the port will not find its way into the rail into the railway but what are we talking about here kanu lagos is still running at 35 kilo, 35 kilometers an hour and well he wants to introduce the new rail tracks but the first contract was issued by was awarded by obasanjo in 2006 there was a dispute the second contract came in 2009 but, by but, the government of Yaradua. It's very key. But, 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 you know why it's yeah, very key for yeah, me to yeah, say this contract? I need to yes. quickly take you back to this matter. Mm -hmm. uh, the APC said that 
uh, th these projects, we're talking about the transportation, transportation projects, yes. must commence in the early life of the new administration. But that is why, that's why, that, that, yes. one on the last that, that is why I'm trying to come to tell you that in 2000, are they on track? Hold on. on in, in 2009, this contract was not split into two. It was given to, if you remember, 43 kilometers was given to China Engineering Civil uh, uh, Company, and Costin West Africa was given 633 kilometers. Sure. What did Jonathan do when he came in? He cancelled that contract and awarded all the contracts to the China civil engineering firm for 11.917 billion. The, the point well, is, by the time 